Because my fine. husband please. and sister, Mary, Mary Lou Please, is dead. please, Mary Lou before is dead. I really get mad. Listen. No, you I'm listen. Mad. I'm mad. Good. She did you want to go kids. nose to well, nose? So why she did, did you? She those kids. Have come here, she please. harassed them. Leave now. Don't you push me. I will push, push you and I will me. drag you Don't by the you feet. Touch me. Please Call. Pray for her soul. What's going on, everybody? How you doing? What's going on? Hope everything's good in your life. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another great video, guys. This is another good one. Let me tell you, she's a keeper. You know, I, I like to, uh, first, I just want to know how you guys doing. Hope you guys, let me know in the comments how you're doing. Seriously, I'm being serious. Let me know. Is your day good? You having a good day? I'm here to make your life better. My, the whole, the whole purpose of my existence is to make your life better. That is literally my MO is just to make people's lives better. If your life is not better, then I haven't reached it. I'm here to also help people understand things, you know? People that think they know stuff that they may not know that I do know. Here I am to give you the knowledge, right? Thank you, you're welcome. I'm kidding, I'm not that smart. The thing that I am is genuine. Don't ever try to be funny because it doesn't work. You gotta not try to be funny, so. That should be up on a wall somewhere in a poster. Okay, anyway, today we are going to be opening up the wrong application. Today, we are gonna watch some Karens. And you know Karens and Kevins, they're, they're so much fun, right? Karens and Kevins, they're always getting into it, always getting into trouble. And today's no different. Today, we, uh, we have a video today from uh, our beloved channel, My Name is Karen 2.0. This is the second iteration. I don't know where the first one is. Karen 2.0, My Name is Karen 2.0. Great channel, they got 10.6 thousand subscribers. Go subscribe to their channel. Go give them some love. <laughs> I just farted out my mouth. What, what was I saying? Go, go tell Miss My Name is Karen 2.0 how much you love their content. Because I think, you know, the best thing you can do in this life is spread love. Because we all want it. So anyway, guys, today's video, My Name is Karen 2.0, Karen Freakout Videos Compilation. It's a compilation of a bunch of Karens losing their mind. If you like this video, guys, if you think this video is worth viewing, Thank you. When I watch this video, do you ever look at yourself and you're like, who is that? And then you realize, oh, it's f***ing me. Can you subscribe to my channel? I'm kidding. I don't need you to subscribe. Honestly, you don't have to subscribe. If you don't want to, I'm not going to force you. No one's going to, listen, no one's going to force you to subscribe, okay? But it, you're just a loser if you don't subscribe. If you don't want to be a loser, you might, I'm just, all right. I'm the kind of guy where I'm not going to force anybody to do nothing, okay? Anyway, so let me know what you guys think of the video. Go ahead and uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Did you like that? You like that production value I just did there? That's right. I am on my way to be the biggest and best YouTuber that there ever was. That's my mission statement, really, is to become the greatest YouTuber that ever lived. That's what I'm doing, okay? PewDiePie, Mr. Beast, look out, because I'm coming. And I don't mean liquid. So you better get your mind out of the gutter. Let's get into the video. Here we go. Call the police and you're not going anywhere. <clears throat> Why did you call the police? Because you should have to pay for parking like an idiot. <laughs> pay for par- I just just dropping something off really I don't quickly. I really care what your reason is. The police are on their way. The police park. are not coming. Yes, they are coming. No, they are not. Yes, they are coming. For what? To give you a ticket. For what? Parking like an idiot. That's not a thing. I'm trying to leave right now, but you're no, not letting you're not me. Leaving. Yes, I am. I'm going to no, leave. You're not, you're not leaving. Oh, she's getting what? out. You're not going anywhere. What are you doing? Oh. I'm just going to make sure you stay here. What an absolute lunatic. Why? Okay. You don't, you don't just touch people's property, woman. What are you doing? I don't know how this person is parked. Uh, hopefully we find out. Just to, to just like get out of your car like that. And, and grab onto somebody's vehicle. This actually reminds me, I dated this girl one time. She was the type of girl that would lose her mind. And um, there was one time I was literally, we, we got in this argument and I was just like, all right, I'm done, I'm, I'm gonna leave. And she just, for whatever reason, she wasn't done. So I get into my car and as I'm backing out, she jumped onto my car as I'm pulling out. And, and it's like, what were you trying to accomplish from that? I mean, getting hurt? That's not, a, obviously this is not as extreme as that example, but still, why do you have to act like you're this citizen woman? You know, she's like, I'm a woman of the citizens and I'm gonna stop any wrongdoing, wherever it is. I have these glasses, I can see. For what? For what reason? I don't, are, are you you're filming me now? I'm filming you filming me, yes. Oh my you know God. why? Why? Because you're an idiot. 
because I of an idiot. I want proof of it. The you police want proof will of see what? this video. The proof that you park like an idiot. Do I'm hanging on your car. Why would I do that unless you park like an idiot? I dropped something off to my friend and now I'm going to leave. I, I don't, don't really understand. care what your reason is. <clears throat> Double double parking and causing other people to have to go around you. Okay. People have a life, you know. It's not all about you. you I'm not narcissist. saying that it is. I'm saying I'm just trying to leave. Get off my mirror. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> what What do you mean? I don't know what I'm supposed to do right now. I'm You're just supposed to sit here and be still. Oh, my God. <laughs> Are you the cops right now? Are I you... am right now until they get here. No, you're not. Oh, yes, I am. Okay. Well, you know I'm... what? If I raise you, I would make you stay in your room. I, I just, I love how she, first of all, is, uh, you can't just say you're the police, first of all. That's impersonating a police officer. This kind of against the law. Uh, I don't know. You can't say that. You would make me say, okay, you're, this is insane. You're just a complete rando, like, hanging on my mirror right now because I parked not up to your standard. I'm gonna leave. No, you're not. What? Like, you can't just hold me hostage Yes, here. I can. For what? You're gonna get a ticket. For what? To I To help understand. pay for the city the, with the potholes. Your tickets no. help pay for potholes. With the bottle. At least there's some good that can come from you being an idiot. So you're going to hold me hostage because you're trying to help out the potholes. Citizens yeah. arrest. No, okay. You can't put me under citizens arrest. Yes, I can. Until the police come, I sure can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. And if you move this truck, you're going to hurt me. And if you hurt me, I'm going to sue you. No. So then you're going to be in a whole world of trouble. You can't sue me. You're hanging on my car. I can sue you if I feel like it. What's your name? You know, a lot of the time, I really feel like these people have nothing to do. They just, she's retired, doesn't have anything to do. It looks like she was driving, saw him parked, stopped her car. You know, in this case, I guess he double parked. So he parked in two spaces. Why would you want to waste the police's time? I, you just waste, what are they going to do? They're going to give him a ticket? I mean, really, you feel good about yourself wasting their time with somebody who, you know, maybe parked a little over on the second parking space as opposed to, you know, people that are actually doing real crime out there that the police should be spending their time on? This is absurd. I've really realized a lot of Karens, it's usually a combination of either they have nothing better to do or they, they have some inner aggression that they need to get out and they just, this woman just looks for any wrongdoing and then she's just like, all right, Karen time. That's not a really good way to go through life, lady. She says she's trying to be a good citizen, but good citizens don't just start yelling at somebody and grab onto their car so that they'll get hurt so you can sue them. That's not what good citizens do. Okay, well, we got like a train or a, what do you call these things? Tram? I'm ringing the bell. What is that guy? Oh, he's on a bike. What is he doing? What, has he got beef with the train? What? I'm, I'm sick and tired of you! Always coming around! And... <laughs> what? He just rides away. I just... I just don't understand. It's not like the train can go... in a different direction. What, what, do you want it to go backwards? I mean, it can't go around you. It's on a fucking track. He's literally just like, you come up all in here, you be driving on. I'm, I'm trying to ride my bike. It's a train, bro. What are you doing? Literally takes the windshield wipers and as if he's a clown at a birthday party, making balloon animals. What the fuck? And then he just leaves. That guy, something happened to this man. And he decided to take it out on the train, specifically the windshield wipers. You know, like I said, it's not like the train can go around him. You're in the middle of train tracks. What do you expect? It's almost like he was waiting. Like he, like I, I almost feel like in his mind, he was just, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to get on those tracks and I'm riding. And any train that tries to, oh, about to learn. You're going to learn today. A long dick. All right. Sorry. Anyway. Oh boy. Where's your manager? Can I speak to your manager? <laughs> Classic Karen. Can I speak to your manager? I asked for extra ketchup and I thought what, what is this? What is this? This is so much ketchup. I can't eat that. Are you making fun of me because I'm on a diet? How are we going to have that? I'm upset. 
Where's your manager? Classic Karen here. This is a classic Karen. So much to say about the video. First of all, I love the dance moves that she was performing there. Very nice. Uh, I'm sure the kids will pick that up for the next thriller competition. She goes up to the counter. I speak to your manager. It seems, oh, seems okay. We're going to have a nice cordial conversation. The manager comes over. And if you heard Miss Karen, she literally says, I asked for extra ketchup. And she's blaming them for not, for like... You should, you know, you're making fun of me because I'm on a diet. How would, and then the manager even says, how would we know you're on a diet? It doesn't make any f***ing sense. It's like you ask for extra ketchup and then you're mad that they gave you extra ketchup. But, but you know what? She would have been mad anyway, because I guarantee you if she, they probably knew, okay, she's probably the type of woman that if we don't give her extra ketchup, she's going to hmm, karate chop her balls off. They give her the extra ketchup. I guarantee you. If they would have given her just a little less, she probably would have complained, I asked for extra ketchup and I didn't get my ketchup. I only got, what is this? This little tiny bit of ketchup, what is? I, I, I love how she just like slammed it down, you know, like as if she's scoring a, a touchdown. Where's your manager? Can I like speak to them please? I have too much ketchup on my buns. I have too much ketchup, it's all over. I can't I asked for extra ketchup and I got what I asked for. Yeah. She like dude, she literally stops herself. She's like, I asked for extra ketchup and I got what is this? And then slams the burger down. Did you catch that? I asked for extra Yeah. What She's like, it? and I got ketchup? What? Yeah, you got what you asked for. I would imagine this woman knows how ridiculous she's being. I, it's just, again, it's people that have this inner aggression from some other thing. I don't know what, whatever's going on in their life. And they just, I mean, just having too much ketchup is enough to, you know, make her lose her mind. Kudos to that manager, though. That manager handled that beautifully. And I've said this before. I don't understand it. It's like, why would you ever be mean to the people who are making your food. Don't be mean to anybody regardless, right? But to be mean and rude to the people who are literally preparing the food you're going to put in your in your mouth? What are you doing? Why would you do that? You get somebody mad enough, they might spit in your food. They might put a dead mouse in your food. Now you got mouse neck, right? Like that last lady we saw. Baby. Mm -mm. In situations like this, you get extra ketchup, you get a little too much ketchup, just tell them and they'll make you a new sandwich. This Karen is just... She's even got the the haircut. She looks like the thumbnail of My Name is Karen 2.0. This is classic Karen with the haircut, the glasses. Can I speak to a manager, please? I got exactly what I asked for, and I'm going to complain about it now. This Upper East Side Karen oh, no. on my way to work. Another bus incident. Way, oh, my God. And decided to walk. Oh, wow. Why are we walking in the middle of the road? The bus driver would not let her on, so she did what Karen's do best. Yeah, walk in the middle of the road. Oh my god. I guarantee you that bus is going to try to pass her, and she's going to... Yep, not let that happen. Oh my god. Out of your mind. You're out of your mind, lady. Yeah, just play on the horn. Where, where'd the music just come from? <laughs> okay. Dude, I, I can't believe that she... First of all, to be walking in front of the bus like that is just insane. I don't know if maybe you have to be on a certain bus. You can't just take any bus. So it looks like she missed her bus and then decided to try to get on this bus and they wouldn't let her. So she decides, I'm going to now walk in front of the bus. <laughs> for whatever reason. She screwed up. She missed the bus. And instead of humbling herself and going, you know, I missed the bus. I need to take responsibility. I'm going to now try to get on another bus. And when they don't let me on, I'm going to ruin their day. I mean, you could be killed. You could be hurt. It's not worth, it's not worth it. It's just not. Just don't do that. You know, she's not only putting herself in danger, she's putting others in danger because what if somebody does hit her and she goes flying and hits another car, you know? I mean, it could be a, it could be a massacre. Oh, got a fender bender. Somebody's getting a license plate. 
this England? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, you fucking bogan slut? Oh! Camera, go get a job and um, find something better to do with your- What a way! What a way to open up a conversation after literally slamming into their car. I'm sure this is going to unfold beautifully. What are you doing? Just the minute she goes up to her. What are you doing? What are you doing, you fucking bogan slut? Camera, go get a job um, and find something better to do with your- what have you done? Can you I reversed please have into your me. license? Honey, you just reversed into me. I have a um, I'm sorry, we're at a traffic light yeah, and you can say whatever you want. Maybe you can put whatever you want, sweetheart. The media doesn't care about you. I'm not talking to the media. Oh, no. What's that? What are you looking for? Don't you worry. What are you looking for? Oh, Did you see that? Huh. Mania. Yeah, yeah. Oh, boy. Camera, because there are a lot of us. Yeah, she's not happy about being on camera. I'm sorry, Emma. I'm so sorry. Whoa! You f What? You are f Can you get a little shut them all down and Wait a minute. Is there a full version of this? This is so insane. It so it looks like she I hate that the video cuts right there. I wanna I wanna see. You could tell really quick, you could tell that she was very upset about the filming. That because Obviously, she's in the wrong. She bumped into this this woman who's filming. And then if you heard her, she was like, oh, you backed into me. You backed up into me. And it's like, no, I got the whole thing on film. And that's why you lost your sh**. And then I don't know what possesses this woman to then decide, you know, I'm just going to drive up on the car. Literally guns it. it the camera cuts, unfortunately. I'm so sorry. Look at that. I think um, it looks like that, that was a... I think that's a cop car. So it looks like the cops... Showed up. Yeah, her car was in heat. Let me tell you, needed to be mounted. All right. Please, please. Before dead. I really get mad. Listen. No. You I'm listen. Mad. I'm mad. Good. She did you want to go kids. nose to nose? Well, you, so she why did you? Did to those kids. You shouldn't have please. Come here, she please. harassed them. Leave now. Don't you push me. I will push you, you and I will me. drag you Don't by the you feet. Touch me. Pray for her soul. <laughs> well, wait a minute. I will drag you by your feet. Sir, that's assault. This woman obviously is not happy with whoever died because she's got some she's got some beef. She's got some unfinished business to take care of with this deceased person. She harassed him. Leave now. Don't you push me. I will push you and I will drag you Don't by the you feet. Touch me. Pray for her soul. Pray for her soul. She's nothing but a bitch. Goodbye. Goodbye. Wow. Goodbye. Don't you dare touch me. I will Don't touch you. Touch I will drag ever. you by the feet. Ever. Leave, ever. Leave, leave. Those kids now, went through been, hell. I hope you, you have, have a good time here. in traffic. Those kids went through uh, hell. Let's go. If you need assistance to your car, I'll be more than happy no, to I help don't you. Need you. Okay, you leave go. me alone. How about by the feet? Get out of here. Please. Get out of here. I use the same words. Goodbye. Oh my God. Psycho? Yeah. I have no idea who she is. <laughs> who is that at the end there? He's just, I don't even know who that was. Just some random person who, I guess, knew the person that's passed. Wow. I gotta say, that takes a lot of balls to do something like this. I mean, she is going to a funeral that she most likely doesn't know anybody. She just, I, what I, it seems like what happened is something with this person who is deceased something with kids i mean you heard her she was like those kids went through hell or whatever so something um and she decided this would be the time i mean this is something that you would do when she's alive you would uh confront her not her grieving family members that's not who you confront about any of this that is how did she think that was gonna go she's yeah i'm gonna go in there and i'm gonna tell them what a bitch she is and it'll be fine I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna I'm gonna let them know that hey you shouldn't be having this funeral this person is awful we just need to burn the body and forget it and then I gotta say I love that, that guy <laughs> if you need assistance to your car I would be more than happy to help you but the uh, man oh my god all right so moral of the story don't don't show up to people's funerals if you have beef with them 
squash the beef when they're still alive. Don't wait till they pass and then go to their funeral and try to tell everybody what a horrible person they were because it ain't going to go well. It just ain't going to go well. But I'm sure she probably thought this was not going to be a good thing. But, you know, she's like, I got to do it. You know, the Lord's calling me to go to this person's funeral and cause a ruckus. What a Karen. Yeah, you right, what do we got here? I took it somewhere else. Did you hear I took it somewhere else, oh and they told me the battery is still in the warranty and defective. Right off the bat, we're gonna just jack that up to a hundred, okay? No one, no. One. I took it somewhere else. Did you hear I took it somewhere else, and they told me the battery is still in the warranty and defective. Oh, you people are get the hell out of me. Get out. You people are going to you can abuse no, somebody else. No, no, I don't want to abuse anybody. I just want somebody to drive me home. I've been dealing with this nonsense for three hours. Do not bring that car here. Who? You, what's your name? You can talk to Mike Tillman. Who's your Who's your boss? That is Sally. Go in there and talk to her. Tell who's Sally? Don't bring it here again. Can you speak to a manager? I don't like being talked to like you are. I don't care. No one likes Where me. Where is Sally? <laughs> can talk to you. No one likes you. You're a grown man. I shouldn't have to tell you I'm that. a grown man who's been waiting half an hour for an Uber. child. Oh. Where's the manager? Oh, my God. Yeah, I no, just need no, to no, say, no, somebody that. needs to tell them that their tire is flat. That tire is so flat, it's flatter than my grandma's titties. Look at how flat that tire is. God damn. I, I don't know what the deal was. He was dropping off a car or he's trying to get a car. I just, I, I do not know what he's saying. Because he says, I took it somewhere else. Battery was under warranty. Right here. That. Whatever he said to then make this guy go, hey, yeah, you people are annoy the hell out of me. I don't know what he said, but he said something. And I'm, I'm guessing it's something along the lines of, we're not helping you. You know, then he loses his mind and he wants to talk to a manager. So again, probably somebody who's just broken, going through life and not having a good time. And, uh, you know, it's like a cracked dam. Just the tiniest pebble will just crack open that dam and here comes all the Karen. So, or in this case, Kevin. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking around to the end. I appreciate you guys. Throw a, throw a comment. Let me know what you think of the video. If there's any videos you want me to react to, throw them in there. I'll, uh, I'll take a look at them. I'll take a peek. And yeah, just, you know, if I can leave you guys with one thing, it would be, you know, you never know what people are going through. You know, the reactions we see on here, the Karen, the Karen compilation, the Karen cringe, we're just seeing the eruption of the dam. We're not seeing all the cracks that formed. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of this is the bottle bursting open, you know, as opposed to this person is just a nut. But sometimes they are just a nut. And, uh, you know, nuts got to be cracked. That didn't make any damn sense. All right, everybody. Like, comment, subscribe. I love you all. I'll see you in the next one. That's it.